Oi oi Savaloys, welcome back to another video on the old YouTube channel. With today's video I'm going to show you how you can get unlimited items of your choosing with the Cheat Engine program. Now first things first, you obviously need to download Cheat Engine. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But once you've installed it, all you're going to do is simply go ahead and open Cheat Engine. So... Open Cheat Engine, click the alert that says yeah. So once you've got Cheat Engine open, simply click this box up here with you know the glowing border around it. So click on it, and then once you're here, it, this will bring up the list of processes on your computer. So you've got like Steam and all EXEs running in the background. You're looking for Skyrim SE. So you find Skyrim SE.exe, there you go. Double click on it or click on it once and click open. Gangsters just double click on it. So now you've selected that you want to cheat on Skyrim SE.exe. Now all you're going to do is go back to Skyrim and you're going to find an item that you want to change your value of or get a load of, you know, a load more um, items for. So say, uh, let's go to miscellaneous. Let's go. Now, ideally, you want something that you've got a few of. So, say the garnet, I've got eight. Uh, if you've got just, say, the madness ore, you won't be able to do it because there's not a, a value to adjust, if you know what I mean, because there's no number beside it. Uh, we could just do... Okay, we'll do, we'll do wooden plates. Why not, for a laugh. So, select your item. So, you've got wooden plates. You can obviously use any item. You can even do arrows and stuff like that. If, if need be. Once you found your item, all you're going to do is Alt Tab, go to Cheat Engine. Now what you're going to do is go to the value box and type in how many of that item you've got. So I had four, so I'm going to write in the value four. Um, just to show you quick. Uh, here you go. Wooden plates four, so you just simply enter the value into the value box. Once you've entered the value, click First Scan. Now this will scan for every single, you know, value that has four in your Skyrim game. So now, how do you narrow it down to that specific item? We're well, just going to change it again and do another scan. How do we change it? You may ask. Well, go to that item. Click R to drop. If you do get the alert saying, oh, you've got loads of this, you know, loads of wooden plates, how many do you want to drop? Just drop one. So the digit drops down by one. Once we've done that, Alt tab, go back to Cheat Engine, and then change the value to what it is now. So we've dropped one, so it would change to three. So enter three, and then click Next Scan. Click next scan. As you can see, I've still got quite a few number threes, so just going to go back and repeat the same process. Drop one and then change the value to two and click next scan again. Now, as you can see, there are quite a few twos, but what we're going to do, we're going to basically transfer all of these addresses into this big box here so we can adjust the value. So, what we're going to do is just click on one address here. And then once you've clicked it and highlighted it, you're just going to click this red arrow to drag it down to this box. Once you've done that, you're going to click on the box so it goes green. You're then going to right click. You're going to go to change record. You're then going to go over to value. So you're going to adjust the value. Now as you can see, the value is 2. So say I want 100 plates. Change it to 100. Click enter. So now, when I go to pick up the plate... I should then have a, a hundred. So let's have a look. And I do. As you can see, a hundred and two plates. <laughs> which is quite insane, really. Uh, be it, like I say, you could do this with any item. Just If you're going to do it again, just click New Scan. So it resets everything. Um, and then just click on this, and then go to Delete this record then you're good to go again. So I'll show you how to do it again. Nice and simple. So we go to inventory. We'll do it with some arrows this time. So we got uh, fire arrows. So we've got 44 of them. We're going to alt tab to cheat engine, put in 44. This is the first value. So we're going to do the first scan. First scan is give us all the addresses that contain the number 44 in. We're then going to go back to Skyrim. We're then going to drop an item. This is what I was on about, 
you know, if you have too many items, it just say how many. So what you're going to do is just drag the cursor and just drop one. So it's now changed to 43. We're then going to go to 43 and then click next scan. And then just to be sure, we will do it again. Uh, just so it, it doesn't narrow the addresses down. It makes it a bit, easiest, a bit easier for us. So just drop another one and then do 42. And then next scan. So this should be the only digit. Where the only address containing the fire arrows. So you click on it once, so it's highlighted. You then click the arrow to drag it down to this box. You then click on it so it's green. You then right click the address. You then go to change record. Hover over value and click on value because we want to change the value. So how many arrows do we want? Well, let's go a bit divvy, shall we? Should we go 9,000? Enter the value of what you want. So I'm going from 42 to 9,000. You then go back, you then pick them up, and then it will adjust your value. Let's have a look. Let's see if it does. <laughs> it does indeed. Look at that. 9,002. This is the most items I've ever carried in Skyrim. That's weird seeing 9,000. Veterans might have seen it before, but I don't know. I've never seen it. But yeah, that is pretty much how you get unlimited items in this game. Obviously, doing this... I mean, the engine's called Cheat Engine. Do you know what I mean? So, you are cheating. You 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 ruin the game for yourself if you do do this. But if you want to... You know, if you've spent thousands of hours on PlayStation, you've just got a PC and you just want to get back to where you were, then fair enough. Uh, whatever floats your boat, but yeah, that is basically how you do it. Easy as that, like so, boom. If you found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more bangs like this one. This is Spaghetti Oop signing off. Have a good